ladies and gentlemen. Welcome here to J.C.'s Field in Nacogdoches, Texas for the fourth game of this opening home series for the Lumberjacks. Right now, the UNO Privateers have a 2-1 to one game lead here. The Lumberjacks looking to tie the weekend series here in this fourth game on this beautiful Sunday afternoon here in East Texas. We'll go through the lineups here real quick as for UNO, batting first and playing shortstop is Kasten Furr. Batting second is Gage Howard, who will play left field on the defensive side of the ball. Batting third and fourth is Pierce Howard and Salo Isa. KC Simonich in the five spot as Isaac Williams and Travis Gober fill in the sixth and seventh. Bo Bratton and Blake Way will round out the lineup for the Privateers. The Lumberjacks on the defensive side of the ball will have Joseph Scambleri on the mound. He'll be pitching to the starting catcher for the Lumberjacks, Skylar Black. On first base, Cal Martin will work with Will Long on second, Blake Brian Burgos at short, and Sean Moore at third. And left field, Cade Clemens will be next to center fielder Kyle Cullen. And in right field, Cam Crawford will round out the defense side of the ball for the Lumberjacks. Scambleri just taking the last of his few warm-up pitches here. As the Lumberjacks won the second game of the set of four here. The first game on Friday night, the Privateers won 6-4. to four. The first game of the doubleheader yesterday, the Lumberjacks came away with the win in the shortened seven-inning game. In the second of the doubleheaders, the Privateers started off hot with five runs in the first inning and were never caught by the Lumberjacks, and now these two Southland teams will battle to either tie the series or take the series win here on this Sunday afternoon. We are waiting for something over on the left side of the field to get moved as... The home plate umpire waiting for the Lumberjacks to clear foul territory. Cast and Fur has let off for the Privateers all weekend. As he will look to get on base here early. As he takes the first pitch spot strike from Scambarelli. As that one's shot foul to the Little League field behind us. Fur finds himself in an 0-2 count here early. Scam with the 0-2 pitch. That one down and out of the zone as Skyler Black has to slide to get in front of that one. Scamberelli, the senior out of Bentbrook, Texas. Finds the top of the bat there as that one's fouled back over the press box. Scamberelli started his time at Cisco College. As that one's chopped towards short and Brian Burgos able to collect. Sends it over to first and off the bag as Fur finds himself aboard here in the top of the first inning. Gage Howard out of the plate for the Privateers. The official scorekeepers here called that 
Last of bet by Fur, a single, as they decided he beat up the throw from Burgos to the bag, even though it was off the base. The, can't, the count now one and one to the privateer left fielder. Scam with the one one delivery gets him to swing over the ball for a strike two. The senior left fielder for the Privateers came into the last game yesterday, hitting three thirteen. He followed up that performance with a double and a single, as well as a couple foul outs and ground outs. The count's still one and two. As that one's low and just misses the zone for ball two. The count now two and two. Howard calling time to reset here as Scamarelli was taking his time. Fur is on his way to second as the throw is in time and he is tagged out by Brian Burgos. Burgos able to redeem himself as he was not able to get the throw over to first to get Fur out on his initial single. Fur would have probably have gotten there safe anyways as he was going to beat the throw out. He doesn't beat Scarlet Black's throw out over there to second as the Privateers now have two outs on the board here in the top of the first inning. That ball is hit sharply to first as Cal Martin able to collect and send it over to Scamarelli for the third out. The Lumberjacks see three batters and send three batters back to the dugout. As we'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball here in the bottom of the first inning after this. Welcome back here to the bottom of the first inning. The Lumberjacks got out in a double play and a line or ground out to first to get to the plate here as Cam Crawford coming to the plate. Crawford hitting 259 so far this season. Hit a home run off of the right field foul pole that has tacos on it yesterday. 
Right at the 320 mark. Takes first pitch strike. Crawford getting his first look at Tyler LeBlanc. The freshman left-hander has a 4.0 ERA so far this season. As that one's out of the zone for ball one. LeBlanc has started two games, pitched nine total innings, has given up ten hits in those innings. Has five runs, four of them earned. Has walked five batters and struck out eight. That one out of the zone for ball two. Batters are batting 294 against LeBlanc. As that one swung on and chopped to first. Crawford going to have to hustle to get there. First baseman, Travis Gober, collected it and decided to take it himself. LeBlanc went over to help, but Gober beats out Crawford for the first out of the inning. A little long now to the plate. Looks like they've changed the ruling on the uh, cast and fur hit earlier in the game. As Long in a 1-1 count here. Only his second appearance so far this season. Long playing second base today for the Lumberjacks. The sophomore just making his fourth plate appearance. Finds himself in a 1-2 count. As LeBlanc sends that one down the pipe and Will Long able to fell that back towards the dugout. Long out of Chandler, Arizona. Started his career at Glendale Community College. See if he can get the Lumberjack offense here started early. The count now two and two. As that one. Off the plate for ball three. The count now full for the Lumberjack sophomore. See if he can get the ball in play here early in his at bats this season. That one sent well towards short. The privateer is able to get behind it for the second out of the inning. Cast and fur. Falls to his right and able to make the play as. Lumberjack stalwart. Skyler Black comes to the plate. Black swings the second pitch he sees, sends that sky high. That one will land behind the grandstands. The count now 0 2 to the Lumberjack senior. Black takes time behind the plate and in the designated hitter role for the Lumberjacks. This afternoon he will be behind the plate. As that one off the thigh of Black. Take his way to first base. The Lumberjacks now with a base runner with two outs. Cal Martin out of the plate. Two outs on the board. He has Skylar Black at first. As that one. In the zone for strike one. Martin playing first base for the Lumberjacks this afternoon. The 
That one. Finds his home for strike two. Lumberjack quickly down an 0-2 count here. That's Tyler LeBlanc trying to get out of the inning. Seeing four batters. That one in the dirt. The count now one and two. LeBlanc, the freshman out of Lafayette, Louisiana. Ready for the one two delivery. Black on the move. Is that one sent towards left field? That one brought in by Gage Howard. The Lumberjacks leave one on base. As the score is 0 0 here as we leave the first inning, we'll be back with the top of the second with more Lumberjack baseball after this. Welcome back here to the top of the second. It's score was first inning here, which was different than the third game. The Privateers put up five in the first last game. Joseph Scambaleri for the Lumberjacks. Looking to make this second inning just as spotless as the first. He saw three batters and three batters were sat down. As Kasten first initial single was eventually ruled an error. As Burgos wasn't able to send it over to Cal Martin on the base bag. Salo Eisen out of the plate for the Privateers. Down on the count 0 1 as that one out of the zone. Evening it at 1 here in peace. Isa made a couple stellar defensive plays for the Privateers yesterday and has been solid at the plate all weekend. See what he can do here in the top of the second. As Scambaleri finds his own. The count now one and two for the Lumberjack pitcher. The seniors made three appearances so far. Started all three of those games. Only credited with one loss this season. With an ERA of 6.75. He's pitched eight innings, given up eight hits. Six runs in those eight innings, all of them earned. Walked 11 batters and struck out 10. As that one's popped sky high, I'm going to hit the top of the press box. For any March Madness fans, the top ranked. Illinois men's basketball team was just knocked out of the tournament by Loyola Chicago as Burgos makes the play to first this time. Able to get Salo Isa 
as Spergos making two stellar plays in the bottom of the first and one here in the second. So he's initially credited with that error. The Privateers now with one out on the board. Casey Simonich to the plate. Simonich. The DH this afternoon for the Privateers. Swinging a miss on that one. The count now even at one apiece. Privateer Jr. has came into yesterday afternoon's second game, batting 164, 167 rather, as he chops that to second. Will Long gets behind it. Send it over to Martin, a little off the base. Martin able to stay for the second out. Scambolari pitching to ground outs here as three of the five outs recorded so far by the Lumberjacks this afternoon have been on the ground. Brian Burgos making two of those plays and one just made here by Will Long. Isaac Williams to the plate. The privateer center fielder. Just a freshman for the team out of New Orleans. As that one's sent to short center field. Kyle Cullen makes an ESPN top 10 worthy play as the Lumberjacks get out of the inning with no runs, no hits, and no errors given up. Scambolari sees three in. Once again, three go back to the dugout. The Lumberjacks will be up to bat here in the bottom of the second after this break. Now to the plate for the Lumberjacks, Cade Clemens. The junior left fielder. Hitting 192 so far this season. He's made 26 plate appearances. Get his first look at Tyler LeBlanc. As that one's swung on and fouled off. Over the dugout. LeBlanc with the 0-1 delivery. That one low in the dirt for ball one. This is just the first weekend the Privateers are away from home as they've played one away game so far before this one in their 19 games. The next three coming here in Nacogdoches, but they spent most of their time in the friendly com confines of their home field in New Orleans. Hitting the road here as they start the Southland Conference season. The count now two and two for Clemens. That one. 
In the dirt for ball three. The count now full for the Lumberjack left fielder. As the Lumberjacks would like to see this one in play. That one fell back just over the press box. Three two swing and a miss by Clemens as the first out is recorded here in the bottom of the second. LeBlanc doing a good job there to fight off Clemens, who was covering the plate well. The designated hitter this afternoon for the Lumberjacks now up to the plate, Adrian Menares. Menares catching for the home team in the second game yesterday. As we have kind of a swirling wind here in Nacogdoches, just a few moments ago, it was blowing from the New Orleans dugout out to left field, and now it's blowing back into the press box. Menares batting 364 so far this season. Only his fifth game to play in so far. He started in three of those. The count now 2 0 early here. Or the Lumberjack catcher. That one hit well into the gap between first and second. As the Lumberjacks will have one aboard here with one out. As Brian Burgos will come to the plate. Burgos has already made a couple of good defensive plays for the Lumberjacks and is credited with the one error on the board. See if he can continue making amends for that as he looks to help move his teammate another 90 feet. LeBlanc sends that over to first just to check on Menares. Burgos bunts that down the left field line as he will beat the throw out. As the Lumberjacks now have a runner on first and second. Burgos doing a good job to hustle down the line. Privateer third baseman Blake Way not able to get that around to his first base compatriot Travis Gober. As the Lumberjacks now the runner in scoring position and one on first here early in the second inning. Sean Morton out of the plate. He's made some stellar defensive plays this weekend so far. See if he can keep the bats alive here in the second inning for the Lumberjacks. LeBlanc sends that one in for a first pitch ball. One of the senior leaders on this team, Sean Moore. Swings and chops that to short as the Lumberjacks won't get two as that'll be an error for the Privateers. That one bouncing the dirt in front of Travis Gober as Kasten first skipped it to him and that one not able to be collected as both teams now have a fielding error. The Lumberjacks with the bases loaded and the bottom of the lineup coming up for the Lumberjacks, Kyle Cullen. Used to playing here in Nacogdoches. Cullen's been here for a few years. Just as Sean will before him, another one of those super seniors. Made an outstanding defensive play in the first inning out in center field. As Cullen shows bunt and pulls away for ball one.
Freshman LeBlanc has some work to do here in the bottom of the second. There's a force out at every base now. So if we can keep it in the infield, the privateers have a chance to get out of this inning. As that one misses the zone for ball two. Cullen not showing bunt that time. That one just finds his own for strike one. The count now two and one for the Lumberjack senior. The two one pitch finds the bat of Cullen as that one's sent high into right, shallow, left shallow field rather as all the Lumberjacks will stay put. Furry able to make the play, as that one ended up behind third base. The Lumberjacks now gonna need to find grass with this one as Cam Crawford's up to the plate, making his second plate appearance in as many innings. Crawford hit a home run yesterday. The Lumberjacks would like to see something similar out of here, him here in the second inning. Adrian Menares standing on third. Brian Burgos on second. Sean Moore on first. Would all like to have the opportunity to touch home here as that one's low and out of the zone for ball one. Crawford grounded out in his first at bat. He swings a little behind that one for the first strike. Count now one and one for the Lumberjack right fielder. LeBlanc with the one one delivery. That one just high and left of the zone for ball two. Crawford anxiously awaits a pitch he can hit. As he swings that to left field, that one's going to miss the left fielder as the Lumberjacks will bring at least two to the plate. Three will come around as Sean Moore comes to the plate. The throw will not be in time. As Cam Crawford hits a double and gets three RBIs here in the bottom of the second, the Lumberjacks take an early 3-0 lead here in Nacogdoches in game four. Clinical offense here by the Lumberjacks early. As Crawford sends that over the third baseman's head and into no man's land in left field. Gage Howard nowhere near that one as that one rolled all the way back to the wall. All three Lumberjacks on the base paths, able to come around and score. Will Long now to the plate as... LeBlanc turns around to check on Moore, who hurries back to the base. No one covering the bag. Long lined out his last at bat as that one inside for ball one. The Lumberjacks have the momentum early and like to keep it going here. With two outs on the board. Will on the second baseman. On, at the plate. The Lumberjacks scored four in the bottom of the fourth inning yesterday with two outs on the board. As Crawford takes off towards third. That one in time is Crawford able to get around the tag. The Lumberjacks now with a runner on third. As the Privateers freshman having some struggles here early in this one. Bo Bratton, the catcher for the Privateers, was not able to get that one down to third base in time as Cam Crawford got a good jump at second. As that one's chopped towards third and bobbled by the Privateers. 
Blake Way able to regain it and send it over to first in time for the out. Crawford would have touched home and added to the Lumberjacks lead if he couldn't have gotten there. The Lumberjacks score three here in the bottom of the second as we head to the third inning. We'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball after this. Travis Gober now to the plate here for the Privateers in the third inning. Get his first look at Joseph Scambolari. The Privateer first baseman. Part of fielding error in the bottom of the second. As the Lumberjacks put up three. As Gober takes first pitch strike. That one finds his own. The count now quickly 0 and 2. As that one swung and hit in the left field, that won't land foul of the line. The count's still 0 and 2 here. Gober, the freshman for the Privateers, takes ball one. Gober hitting 286 early in the season. He's played in seven games and started six of those. Has the one-two pitch from Scambolaria. Fine scholar blacksmith for the third strike. The second strikeout for Scambolari early in this one. As Bo Bratton, the catcher for the Privateers, coming to the plate. Bratton sp splitting time behind home plate with Jorge Tejeda. As that one's shot back towards the press box for strike one. The one pitch. High and out of the zone. Skyler Black does a good job of hopping up and getting that one. That one high again. Two balls, one strike for Bo Bratton. Both middle infielders for the Lumberjacks have their heels on the dirt. Yeah. 
As that one's shot back again towards the press box. The count now two and two. Bratton, the senior out of Biloxi, Mississippi, starting his career at Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College. As that one's high. The count full. As the third plate umpire says he came around. Bratton, not happy with the call. Having some words for the third base umpire. The privateers third base coach going over to talk to him as well. As the Lumberjacks now have two outs on the board here in the top of the third. Scambleri's second strikeout of the inning. As that one misses the zone for ball one. Blake waited to the plate, the third baseman for the Privateers. Watches that one high and out of the zone again. Scambleri ready for the 2 0 delivery. That one. Flies past Way's bat as the count now two and one. Way making his sixth appearance of the season has now started four as that one misses the zone for three and one count. Way batting 231 early in this season. The 3-1 pitch from Scambleri. That one ended the hands for ball four. Way will make his way to the base paths for a two-out runner here for the Privateers. Caston Fur making his second appearance at the plate. Fur reaching on an error in his first at bat. Scambleri looking for a new ball. From the home plate umpire. For beat out a bobble throw by Brian Burgos. Burgos not able to deliver it to the first base bag. As Cal Martin had to step off to make the catch. That one ruled an error. As Fur Now seeing his second set of pitches from Lumberjack Scambarelli. That one off the bat of Fur. We'll find the gap between left center field as Fur will find himself at second. And Way makes his way to third. The Privateers now with two base runners with two outs, both in scoring position. Gage Howard to the plate. Struck out his first at bat. Privateer left fielder. Looking to find grass here in the outfield and bring his two teammates around to cut the Lumberjacks lead down. Scambarelli. That one finds the dirt in front of Black, who's able to get his chest to the ball and keep it in front of him. The 1-0 pitch. Swung on and fouled back to the glove of Skylar Black. The count now 1-1. One one. Gage Howard, the senior out of Carlsbad, California. Playing in Cabrillo College before making his way to New Orleans. As Black sends that over to third, trying to get Way, who was off of the third base bag. Moore able to collect and keep the ball in front of him as Way scrambled back to the base. The count now two and one. And 
That ball finds his zone for strike two. The count now two apiece with two balls, two strikes, and two outs on the board. Pitcher and batter reset. As that one low and out of the zone as the count now full for the privateer right fielder, left fielder rather. Gage Howard. Good job laying off the pitches that he didn't like. Scambarelli looking for the third strike here to get out of this inning. As that one's chopped in between first and second, as the Lumberjacks will along, not able to make the play. Two privateers will come around the plate as the home team's lead now cut to one here. Howard standing on first. Two outs on the board seem to be magic for both teams. As yesterday and today, both able to get runners across the board with just one out left in their respective innings. That one finds his own for strike one. Pierce Howard, the right fielder for the Privateers. Look to keep the bats hot here for the Privateers here in the top of the third. As that one hits sky high and foul. Going to land out of the park. Count now one and two for the privateer junior. Pierce Howard out of Silver Spring, Maryland. That one swung on and fouled over the lumberjack dugout again. Ground out and hits first at bat. That one chopped towards first and off of the glove of lumberjack first baseman Cal Martin. As Will Long able to collect and instead of throwing it all over the park, just walks it back in. The Privateers now have a runner on third and first with two outs on the board as Silo Isaac comes to the plate. Isaac grounded out in his first at bat to short as Brian Burgos. Made a stellar play. Flashing a little leather as he dove to the left. That one just out of the zone for ball one. The 1-0. Out of the zone, and Skylar Black walks out to the mound to calm his pitcher down. Scambarelli looked good through the first two, and he's found himself in a little bit of a spot here in the third. The 
privateer second baseman. Looking to take advantage of the rattled lumberjack pitcher here. That one sent high into right field as lumberjack right fielder Cam Crawford able to get underneath it for the third out. The Lumberjacks allow two to come across the plate here in the top of the third as their lead's cut to one. The score here, three to two, SFA. As we head into the bottom of the third, we'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball after this. Skylar Black now batting for the Lumberjacks here in the bottom of the third. Black was hit by a pitch in his first at bat. As Tyler LeBlanc back on the mound for the Privateers. That one in the zone for strike one. That one chopped back to the net. The count now 0-2 for Black. He's already made a couple of good defensive plays for the Lumberjacks this afternoon. Throwing out an attempted steal at second. As that one's sent down the right field line, that one going to land a couple feet right of the first baseline. As the count now 0-2 for the Lumberjack catcher. Black getting a new bat. He'll make his way back to the batter's box now. LeBlanc, after a long wait, ready for the 0-2 delivery. As that one's chopped back towards the Lumberjack dugout. Black has fouled a couple of these off so far to stay alive in this at bat. The Lumberjacks like to see him get aboard here early. As he takes a golf swing at that one. Fouls it off towards the left side of the ballpark. The count still 0-2. As that one swung on and hit high over the privateer dugout. That one will land over by the Little League field. The 
block with another 0-2 delivery. That one high at the hands. The first ball of the at-bat. Black doing a good job battling. And fouling off. Some of the less than stellar pitches he's seen. The 1-2. Out of the zone. The count now even. Two balls, two strikes. The 2-2 pitch. Swung on and a hit. Well into short center field as Kesson Fur tried to make a play at it. It was just a little too far for him. Skyler Black now on first base again as he was hit by a pitch in the first inning. The Lumberjacks now with a base runner with no outs on the board as Cal Martin coming to the plate here in the bottom of the third. Martin, the first baseman for the Lumberjacks. Waiting for his second opportunity to see pitches from Tyler LeBlanc as that one out of the zone for ball one. That one chopped towards third as the privateers will look to try to turn two. Black out at second and Martin out at first. Both runners erased from the base paths as the Lumberjacks now have a blank infield with Cade Clemens coming to the plate. The left fielder struck out his first at bat. That one high and out of the zone for ball one. The 1 0 from LeBlanc. In at the shins of Clemens for the second ball of the at bat. LeBlanc finds the zone for the first strike on Kid Clemens. As that one's chopped towards second, Salo is able to get behind it and make the play. As the Lumberjacks are able to get any runs across the board, the score here in Nacogdoches. Lumberjacks three, Privateers two as we head to the top of the fourth after this. As we get ready to start the fourth inning here, the Privateers will bring KC Simonich to the plate, the designated hitter. He'll get his second look at 
Joseph Scambolari. Simonich hit into a ground out. His first at bat as he takes first pitch strike from the Lumberjack starter. As he swings at the second pitch, he seasons in out the left field. That one. Pushed the Lumberjack left fielder Cade Clemens out a little further than I think he initially thought. He's able to make the play just before the warning track. It's a good swing by Simonich, but Clemens able to catch up and make the first out here in the top of the fourth. Isaac Williams out of the plate, the center fielder for the Privateers. Again, taking first pitch ball. Lined out to center for his first at bat. Kyle Cullen having to lay out for that one, making a pretty spectacular catch. As he now finds himself in the hole, rather in the lead here in the count, two to nothing. As that one low and in the dirt, four ball three. Three consecutive balls for the Lumberjack starter. There's not much activity in the bullpen here for the Lumberjacks. As that one swung and hit high. Fell back over the grandstands. The 3-1 shot back to the lumber du Lumberjack dugout. The lumber dugout, as some of us call it. The count now three and two for Scambolari. The payoff pitch. That one just misses for ball four. Williams make his way to first base as the privateers now have a, a base runner with one out on the board here. And the top of the fourth. Tyler Travis Scober, rather, coming to the plate for the Privateers. There's now some minimal action over in the Lumberjack bullpen. As that one is high and out of the zone for ball one. That one. Out of the zone again for ball two. The 2 0. That one in the zone for strike one. Scambler doing a good job battling so far this inning. Now has to work back in the count as Gober ahead 2-1. That one swung on and fouled over the Lumberjack dugout. The count now 2-2. Two and two. That one misses the zone. The count now full for the second, second straight batter. The 3-2 pitch. Swung on and hit towards second. Williams hops over that one. That will make its way out to right field. Burgos able to get behind that as... The Privateers now have a runner on first and second with one out on the board. Both 
Bo Bratton out of the plate. The catcher for the Privateers. Scambolari steps off the bag. That one. Fouled back towards the press box and over towards the luxury suites here at JC's Field. If you're interested in watching a Lumberjack game in style or a Lady Jack game over across the way at the softball field, both fields have luxury mobile suites with a grill, a deck on top, and a mini fridge, couches, and TV. Really nice way to enjoy a spring afternoon here in Nacogdoches. You can contact the Lumberjack ticket office to reserve one of those for a game, a weekend, or the whole season. The count now 0-2 to Bo Bratton. Struck out his last at bat. He had some words for the third base umpire the last time he was at the plate as he did not think he came around to swing on his third strike. Scambolari. Checking on Williams over at second. Not sending a throw as Ryan Burgos and Will Long. Not near the bag. As that one's fouled off of the glove of black. Count still 0-2 for the privateer catcher. The 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Is That's a definite swing by Bratton. Can't defend himself there as he'll walk back to the dugout. Second out of the inning for the Lumberjacks. As Blake Way will make his way to the plate. Came around and scored off of a Gage Howard RBI, two RBI double, or single rather. I see it was walked in the bottom of, or top of the third. As that one's high and out of the zone, four ball one. One no pitch. Misses the zone for ball two. Way. Out ahead here early. Scambarelli has some work to do. Two balls, no strikes, and two outs on the board. Runners on first and second for the privateers. Is that one swinging a miss? Gets way for the first strike of the at bat. Scambolari with the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two for Way. Good job by the Lumberjack pitcher here to get back in this one. The count now, two balls, two strikes with two outs on the board. Scambolari. Steps off of the bag. We're reset here. Swing and a miss, strike three as Scambolari able to get out of the top of the fourth here, giving up no runs to the Privateers. The Lumberjacks still lead here. Going into the bottom of the fourth, 3-2. We'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball after this.
I don't know why you put up with me. Welcome back here to JC's Field in Nacogdoches. Bottom of fourth inning. As Tyler LeBlanc chops that one back. As Menares sends that right back to LeBlanc. One swing and one out for the privateers here in the bottom of the fourth. Brian Burgos out of the plate. That one in for ball one. Burgo single and came around in his last at bat. Count now 2 0 for the Lumberjack shortstop. That one. Chop towards second as Silo Isa able to collect. Isa must have left his jersey in New Orleans this weekend as he's wearing number seven, which is normally reserved for Chris Turpin, Friday night starter. That one. Out of the zone for ball one for Sean Moore. Moore reached on air the last time he was at the plate and came around to score as part of the three RBI double by Cam Crawford. That one well out of the zone for ball two. That one misses again for ball three. The privateers don't have any arms warming up in the bullpen quite yet. As Tyler LeBlanc looks to get the third out of here. I'll have to work back as that one finds the corner of the zone for strike one. That one. Inside for ball four. The Lumberjacks will now have a two-out base runner. And Sean Moore on first base. Cullen popped out to short in his first at bat. Now coming to the plate again for the Lumberjacks. Has a super senior teammate on the first base bag. And Sean Moore, his second opportunity to see Tyler LeBlanc here in the fourth game of this weekend series as that one finds his zone for strike one. The uh, one pitch from LeBlanc. Off the plate for ball one. LeBlanc goes and checks on Sean Moore over at first base. Moore able to get back to the bag standing up. Blanc sends that one as a good diving stop by first baseman Travis Gober. 
Able to end the inning for the Privateers. The Lumberjacks leave one on the base paths. As the score is still 3-2 here, the Lumberjacks lead heading into the top of the fifth. We'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball after this. Welcome back to the top of the fifth inning. We have a new pitcher for the Lumberjacks. Number 20, number 38, rather, Lance Koch. Getting his first look at Privateers batter, Kasten Fur. The Lumberjacks switching it up before. Privateers got to see Scambolari for the third time as Fur sends that one. That one out to left field with his first at bat. That one off the wall as Fur is going to find himself at second. With a stand-up double to lead off the top of the fifth inning. That's the second double in a row for Fur. He came around and scored in his last at-bat. Howard, now the plate. Howard. Singled his last at bat and brought around two. Is responsible for both New Orleans runs here in the fourth game of the weekend. First pitch he sees is a strike from Lance Koch. That one. Just high and wide of the zone for ball one. That one out of the zone for ball two. It's privateers with a base runner on second is Caston Fur. Led off the inning with a double. No else on the board for the team out of New Orleans. Howard struck out in his first at bat. Of course, responded with the two RBI double. That's counting on three and one to the privateer senior. The 3-1 delivery. That one in the zone. The count runs full here for Lance Koch. Koch, the junior right-hander out of Houston, Texas. Starting his career at Letourneau University. The payoff pitch. Sent sharply into left 
center field as the privateers now with the runner on first and third and no outs here in the top of the fifth. Here's Howard coming to the plate. Singled his last at bat. Grounded out in his first at bat, but the Privateers' bat have, bats have gotten hot here in the fourth and fifth innings. No outs on the board here. As Lumberjacks have some work to do to get out of this unscathed and with the lead. That one in for ball one for Pierce Howard. Tom called at the plate. That one. Chop back to Skyler Black foul for strike one. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Swung on and hit towards left field as that one would have landed fair as the Lumberjacks Bringing in, not before the privateers are able to tie it up as Caston Fur comes across the plate. Gage Howard stays at first, and the game now tied here three apiece in Nacogdoches as that sack fly executed well by Pierce Howard. Salo Isaac coming to the plate. Once again, if you see the number seven on his back, usually wearing the number 29 for the privateers, Isaac. Must have left his jersey in New Orleans as he's wearing the jersey of Chris Turpin, the privateer Friday night starter. Has that one out of the zone for ball one. Eyes is grounded out and flown out in his first two at-bats. That one misses the zone for ball two. Lance Koch ready for the 2 0 delivery. Just waiting for Isaac to step back into the batter's box. Is that one sent over to second? And that one skied over the dugout. As Isaac will take his spot at second base as Will Long loses control of that one and sends that one well high of Cal Martin. Isaac reaches on an error. Hmm. The count now even a one apiece here for Casey Simonich. That one. And for strike two, the count now one and two for Koch. As that one fouled over the lumberjack dugout.
Simonich steps out of the batter's box. The scoreboard here at J.C.'s Field still has one here for the Lumberjacks. They may have ended up scoring that a fielder's choice, saying that Izzo would have beaten out the throw either way. As swing and a miss, strike three for Simonich. The Lumberjacks they will get out of the inning, giving up just one run. The game now tied here in Nacogdoches. Three all here as we'll head to the bottom of the fifth after this. Will Long coming to the plate for the Lumberjacks. Actually, looks like Cam Crawford coming out. As that one's chopped foul of the third base bag, Crawford will come back. As Crawford grounded out and hit a three RBI double. In his first two plate appearances. <laughs> Tyler LeBlanc out for his fifth inning of work as that one's into the feet of Crawford. Count now one ball and one strike to the Lumberjack Jr. Crawford hitting his first home run last night. Had three RBIs entering the day, has added three more. That one is shot towards third and gets underneath Blakeway's glove and he will reach for the Privateers' second error of this afternoon. Both teams now with two errors on the board as that Salah Isa play was eventually ruled that he reached on an error. As I don't think he was going to beat out the throw if it was low and two Cal Martin. Now we'll long to the plate, the second baseman for the Lumberjacks. Will skied the throw over Cal Martin for that Salo Iza ROE. As Long showed bunt and pulled back for ball one. Tyler LeBlanc. Would like to get out of this inning. Not giving up any runs as the Lomer Jacks lost their lead. In the top of the fifth, the Privateers working back after the Lumberjacks put up three in the second inning. LeBlanc trying to do his part to put more zeros on the board as Crawford 
Not afraid to steal here at first. As that one's fouled back to, towards the New Orleans dugout. Is that one going to land out of the park and over towards the Little League Park? The count now one and two for the Lumberjack second baseman. The one-two pitch. Swung on and hit sharply towards short as Kasten Fur fully extends to catch that one. And what a great play by the privateer shortstop. The Lone Jacks now one out on the board. Cam Crawford staying at first base. Skyward Black now the plate. Black. Single his last up. At bat was part of a double play from Cal Martin as Crawford takes off there and that one squirts into center field. Martin will hop up, or Crawford rather will hop up and run to third. Two bases stolen by the private lumberjack. It was slow to get up here as just tucking his shirt back in, it looks like. Cam Crawford. Has made the most of Blakeway's error. Looks like Crawford needs a new belt here. As Black now stepping back into the box. This ball, if it can find the outfield, whether in the air or on the grass, will bring Crawford around. as he gets redressed. LeBlanc, ready to send his second pitch to the Lumberjack center catcher, rather, as that one's skied towards first. That one not going to be a productive out here in the bottom of the fifth as Black needed that one to get to the outfield. You can see the frustration as he dropped his bat. Lumberjack's now with two outs on the board and a runner at third. Cal Martin's going to have to find grass in the outfield as... The privateers come to talk to Tyler LeBlanc. No official move has been made yet, but there are some arms warming up in the privateer bullpen. Home plate umpire coming out to the privateers to break up the mini huddle. As LeBlanc will stay on the mound for now. One out left to get here in the fifth inning. Cal Martin coming to the plate. Martin has flown out and grounded it into a double play. In his first two at-bats, Martin hitting 188 so far this season. Playing in nine games before this one. Starting in four of those. Now moving that total to 10-5. and five. As that one's out of the zone for ball one. That one. Out of the zone again for ball two. The count now 2 0 for the Lumberjack first baseman. That one. Out of the again for three straight balls. Martin, like it to leave the bat on his shoulder here and make LeBlanc at least try to find the zone. As that one finds the corner for strike one. The count now three and one. The Lumberjack freshman in a big spot here in the bottom of the fifth. 
As that one out of the zone for ball four. There are open bases to put them on. As Cade Clemens will now come up to the plate. And take a look here for his third time at LeBlanc. Clemens struck out and grounded out in his first two at bats. Sitting 192 so far this season. Played in 10 games and started seven of those before today. As that one's high and out of the zone. Only one more base to fill here. It's early in the at bat. We'll see how LeBlanc can battle through this one. That one out of the zone again. LeBlanc throwing seven balls and one strike and the last eight pitches as that one's Barreled and sent high towards left center field. Two privateers are going to get underneath it as Williams makes the play and the privateers in the inning. LeBlanc able to get out of that one as the score remains tied here in Nacogdoches 3-all. We'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball after this. Welcome back to the sixth inning here on this Sunday afternoon in Nacogdoches, Texas. We have a new pitcher for the Lumberjacks. It's number 43, Harrison Lee, the sophomore out of Austin, Texas. We'll get his first look at Isaac Williams. Williams has walked and lined out in his first two at-bats so far. As that one comes in for a first pitch strike from Lee. That one chopped towards third and over the head of third baseman Sean Moore. That one will find the grass in left field for a leadoff single. The privateers. Went through the three middle innings yesterday in their second game with leadoff singles and doubles. Really helped put away the Lumberjacks. 
as Lee able to pour in a first pitch strike. That one out of the zone for ball one. Travis Gober at the plate for the Privateers. Singled his last at bat. Struck out his first. Lee goes and checks on Williams at first. Williams able to get to the bag in plenty of time. As that's a second strike. Gober swinging behind that one. Lee sends that one in for a looking strike three as Gober will head back to the dugout. First out on the board here in the sixth inning for the Lumberjacks. Bo Bratton to the plate. Has struck out twice so far this game. Let's see if he can change his luck here at the plate. His first time seeing Lee. Lee once again getting ahead of the batters here. First pitch strike. If you're not currently at the game here in Nacogdoches, I recommend at least bringing up ESPNU on your second screen as you finish watching this game in 30 minutes or so as the SFA Lady Jack basketball team will play their first round game in the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament. They're a 12 seed matching up against Georgia Tech. As the count now 2-1 and one for Bratton. The Lady Jacks, although they're the higher seed in this game, I believe they have a good chance at this one as that one's sent well down the right field line and that one's going to land foul. They count now to a piece for the privateer catcher. If you're in Nacogdoches and not at this baseball game, there is a watch party being hosted at the William R. Johnson Coliseum where the cheer and dance team will perform at halftime. The concession stand will be open if you need a little midday snack. The Lady Jacks tore through conference season and have only lost two total this year. As they went a perfect 16-0, including the conference tournament. As that one's chopped to second. And Evangelista, a defensive sub, makes the play as he goes and tags second himself and throws out Bratton at first. The Lumberjacks will head to the bottom of the sixth. They're tied in Nacogdoches 3-3. We'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball after this.
Privateers have brought in their second pitcher of the game, Josh Serejo, the right-handed junior out of Walnut Creek, California. Playing his early college career at Los Medanos Junior College. Get his first look at Adrian Menares, the DH for the Lumberjacks this afternoon. As the first pitch he sends in is a strike. Menares takes ball one. That one out of the zone for ball two. We here at SFA Athletics would like to thank all of our Lumberjack and Lady Jack fans who have attended and watched online for this busy weekend for the Jacks. Lots of games here at home and then multiple teams on the road away as well. Here in Nacogdoches, we started the weekend off on Thursday with a volleyball match as the Lady Jack volleyball team beat UCA in that one. We then shifted Friday to a softball doubleheader and a baseball game here in Nacogdoches as the Lumberjacks just fell short 4-6 to six in that one. And the Lady Jack softball team won both of their games on Friday. On Saturday, we had three games going on at the same time here in Nacogdoches, so the fans having to drive back and forth to catch all the action as Menares sends that one down the left field line, and that one's fair as the third plate umpire, or third base umpire rather, calls that one foul. The Lumberjacks can't quite believe it as Menares will come back to the bag, but that one looks to have landed fair. Menaras just have to do it again at the plate. As I was saying, the Saturday here in Nacogdoches was busy for Jack fans as baseball played two against UNO, winning one and losing one. Softball rounded up their weekend series against Nichols State, sweeping them in their third game. And the Lady Jack volleyball team beating Northwestern State in three states straight sets yesterday as well. As that ball misses the plate for ball three. Beach volleyball, bowling, and the Lady Jack baseball team on the road this weekend as well. It's a busy spring for all the Lady Jacks and Lumberjacks. As that one's hit towards center field. Menar is not happy with the swing as... He'll head back to the dugout as that one's collected by Williams for the first out of the inning. Lady Jack soccer team also played away this weekend and has another game today. It's a good time to be a Lumberjack and Lady Jack fan. We appreciate you sticking around for all of it and supporting our student athletes. Brian Burgos out of the plate for the Lumberjacks here in Nacogdoches as we get back to the baseball game. That one finds his own for a strike. Serejo with the 0-1 pitch. That one chopped foul down the third baseline. Burgos quickly in an 0-2 count. Has singled and grounded out in his first two at-bats. Came around to score and the second inning off of the three RBI double by Cam Crawford. That one low and out of the zone for ball two. Ball one, rather. The one-two pitch swung on early by Burgos, and he'll head back to the dugout as the Lumberjacks now have two outs on the board here. In the bottom of the sixth inning, as Sean Moore will come to the plate. Moore was hit by a pitch and reached on an error 
in his first two plate appearances. The third run to come across the plate in the bottom of the second inning. He chops the first pitch he sees towards short as Salo Isa able to collect and send it over to end the inning. The Lumberjacks just send three batters to the plate as the score remains tied here in Nacogdoches. Three all as we'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball after this. Lakeway coming to the plate for the Privateers to lead off the seventh inning. Well, you'll see Harrison Lee for his second inning of work. Lee saw the minimum in the sixth, giving up no runs. As that one's high and out of the zone for ball one. Way reaches for that one. Send it out to right field as Crawford gets underneath it and will make the first out of the inning for the Lumberjacks. Cast and Fur coming to the plate. Fur has doubled in his last two at bats and reached on an error in the first. Fair looks to stay hot here as he tries to help his privateers get their first lead of the afternoon. He's come around for two of the three runs for the privateers. As that one finds his own, the count now even a one apiece from Harrison Lee. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Low and in the dirt for ball two. As that one misses. The count now 3-1 and one for the privateer shortstop. Three one pitch. Swung on and chopped towards Sean Moore at third. Moore able to collect and we'll send it over to first base and Cal Martin for the first out of the inning. Second out rather. Howard now to the plate. Gage Howard, that is, as there's two Howards back to back in the lineup for the Privateers. The left fielder. Singled his last at bat. And had a two RBI single in the at bat before that. As he takes first pitch strike. The uh, one from Lee. Out of the zone for ball one. The 
one one pitch in the zone for strike two Lee doing a good job of staying ahead of batters here in the count the one two pitch from Lee swung on and out for strike three as the Lumberjacks see three and send three back to the dugout. We'll be back with more Lumberjack baseball here in the bottom of the seventh after this. Kyle Cullen now coming to the plate for the Lumberjacks. Cullen popped out of one of his two bats so far this afternoon. Getting his first look at Josh Serejo as he chops that down the third baseline as Cullen quickly out here in the bottom of the seventh. Cam Crawford coming to the plate. Crawford reached on air and doubled in his last two at-bats. Had three RBIs attached to that double as Lumberjacks scored three in the bottom of the second. Have not been able to put anything on the board since as the privateers worked back and the game now tied. Crawford taking first pitch strike. The uh, one from Serejo. That one at the head of Crawford for ball one. The one one pitch. Inside again for ball two. The 2-1 delivery. Inside again. The count now 3-1 for the Lumberjack. Right fielder. Lumberjacks would like to get Crawford on the base paths as he stole two last time on the bags. Just not able to be brought around. As he fouls that one off. The count now full for... The junior lumberjack. The 3 2 pitch swung on and fouled high over the grandstands. The 
Ford reads three balls, two strikes, and one out here in Nacogdoches as Cerejo with the payoff pitch. Swung on and once again, chop foul down the right field line. That one lands back towards the Little League field. Crawford doing a good job battling here against Cerejo. Making sure that he sees the pitch he wants. As that one out of the zone for ball four, Crawford makes his way to first. Jacob Evangelista coming to the plate for the Lumberjacks. Coming in for Will Long. We saw Evangelista an inning or two ago on the defensive side of the ball. Takes a strike in his first plate appearance. Crawford is shown in speed early as that one's and at the shins of Evangelista. Sarejo goes and checks on Crawford at first, who's able to get back to the bag in time. Evangelista, the freshman out of Spring, Texas, playing his high school ball at Klein Collins High School. Chops that one back to the backstop. Evangelista popped up to the shortstop there as Skyler Black now comes to the plate with two outs on the board and a runner on first. Black steps out of batter's box as he was hit by a pitch, singled and popped out in his first three plate appearances this afternoon. That one hits Black, and he'll take his spot at first base as Crawford was well on his way to second already. Ends up getting to the base standing up. The Lumberjacks now with two base runners late in this seventh inning. Two outs on the board as Cal Martin comes to the plate. Martin walked the last time he was up. Has also flown out and grounded into a double play. The freshman for the Lumberjacks has a chance to bring Crawford home if he can find grass in the outfield. He's going to have to find grass somewhere to keep this thing alive as that one's pitched behind him as both Lumberjacks are taking free base here. Cerejo losing a little bit of his accuracy here late here in the seventh inning. Now two Lumberjacks in scoring position. Right. 
Bo Bratton. Walking out to talk to Serejo. Maybe giving a pitcher in the bullpen time to warm up. And talk to him and get him through this spot here in the bottom of the seventh. Two runners in scoring position. He has faith in his teammate. Just got to find the pitches. As it looks like Sarejo will stay in the game for now. And as a matter of fact, this might be it for Sarejo. As now, before he can deliver the next pitch, his pitching coach comes in. We'll be back with the next privateer batter after this break. Cal Martin back to the plate for the Lumberjacks as the Privateers made a move for their reliever. Lampkin, who we've already seen once this weekend. Jacob Lampkin, the right-handed redshirt freshman out of Youngsville, Louisiana. Finds his own for strike one on Martin. The Lumberjacks have two runners on the base paths at second and third, Martin just needs to find grass in the outfield. As he will step out of the batter's box and Lampkin will step off the rubber. Both resetting here. Pivotal point here in the bottom of the seventh. As that one ended the hands. Good take by Cal Martin. As the count now two and one. Two one pitch, swung on and fouled back towards the little league field. The count now two apiece, two balls, two strikes in, two outs on the board. The lumberjack first baseman looking to extend the inning here. Martin with the two two delivery. Swings and chops that towards third as that one bounces off of Blakeway's chest. The Lumberjacks are going to be safe as Skylar Black comes all the way around standing up. Black showing the wheels from second as Cal Martin able to reach first on an error. 
That's a big one for Blake Way. As the Lumberjacks put two on the board here in the bottom of the seventh. Caden Clemens now coming to the plate to see if he can work more Lumberjack magic here in Nacogdoches on this Sunday afternoon. Really good battle there by first baseman Cal Martin. Able to send an awkward ball over to Blake Way. He was not able to collect. Two Lumberjacks able to come around. As that one bounced around the infield, the Lumberjacks put up two here in the bottom of the seventh. As Cade Clemens looks to extend this inning even more. Has a runner on first. As that one's... Chopped foul over the press box. The count now 1-1 one one for the Lumberjack left fielder. That one off of the back of Martin. That can't feel good. So walk that one off. Lampkin. Looking to battle back here and get the last out for the Privateers. And limit the damage done by the Lumberjacks here in the bottom of the seventh. That swing went around for... The second strike of the at-bat. The Lumberjacks continue to produce with two outs on the board. As they had a big fourth inning in the second game yesterday with two outs on the board, scoring all four runs in that game with two outs in the fourth inning. Bringing two more around here in the bottom of seventh to regain their lead. Had a 3-0 lead leaving the second inning. After four innings, they were leading 3-2. The game's been tied for the past couple innings. As Cade Clemens at the plate here. And Bratton not able to control that one, but Martin staying at first. We're just 10 minutes away from a tip-off here for the Lady Jack basketball team on ESPNU. As that one's in the dirt and gets away, it's ball four as the Lumberjacks have two more base runners, one in scoring position with Martin on second. Seems to be no arms warming up in the bullpen for the Privateers. as Adrian Menares coming to the plate. Cade Clemens being pinch run for. Clayton Laranger coming in, the sophomore out of Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. We've seen him three or four times this weekend coming in for his teammates. That one into the feet of Menares. Lambkin. Losing a bit of accuracy here in the seventh inning. Just not been able to find the zone as well as he'd like. Bratton behind the plate. Not able to hold on to some of these pitches as well. With two on the base paths here, you don't want to let this one go back to the backstop and get both in run scoring position. As that one finds the zone, Lumberjack DH has singled, grounded out, and flown out in his first three at-bats. Let off the bottom of the sixth inning.
The 1-1 pitch from Lampkin. Out of the zone for ball two. Lampkin was able to close the door on the Lumberjacks in the first game this weekend. That one, low and out of the zone for ball three. The count now three and one for the Lumberjack designated hitter. The redshirt freshman has a lot to do here. Just one out to get. Needs to get a soft hit or two more strikes in this at bat. If this one finds grass, it could be even more danger. But that one. Called a strike by the home plate umpire. The count now full 3-2. Everyone, including the scoreboard operator, moved quickly on that one as Menares took off towards first to take his base. Coach Cardenas just talking to his designated hitter. Wants him to cool down a little bit and reset. He's in a big spot here. Full count with two outs on the board. Two runners on the base pads, both with speed. One in scoring position. If he can find grass in the outfield, it could be two more runs here in the bottom of the seventh. Menares has to get reset as he thought he was safely aboard at first. As Lampkin steps off the rubber. Menard is a sophomore out of Cobble, Texas. That one in the dirt for ball four this time, and the bases are loaded with Lumberjacks. As Brian Burgos, who's had a couple key defensive plays in this game. Now is an opportunity maybe for an offensive one as the privateers will move to the bullpen. We'll have another runner coming to the base pads for the Lumberjacks as Cheney Dodge will take the spot of Menares when we get back here. We'll be back with the new pitcher here for the privateers after this break. Brian Burgos coming to the plate for the Lumberjacks as the bases are full here with two outs in the bottom of the seventh. Two runs already across the plate. Give the Lumberjacks the lead back. The Privateers move to Cortland Ramirez, the right-handed pitcher out of Center Point, Louisiana. The sophomore will get his first opportunity 
And this one to see a Lumberjack batter. Definitely put into a jam here as that one misses the zone for ball one. The Lumberjack third base coach. I'm going to talk with Burgos here for a second. I think trying to get Ramirez out of any zone he was in. As Burgos steps back into the box and will step back out. Ramirez ready for the 1 0 delivery. Sends that one high to the chest of Burgos as the count is now 2-0. Oh. What you don't want here is to walk home another insurance run for the Lumberjacks. Ramirez yet to find the zone. As that one finds the inside corner for strike one. Burgos, I think, was going to leave the bat on his shoulder until Ramirez was able to find the zone. Now, we'll see if he can find a good pitch here from the sophomore Islander. As he sends that one down the left field line, 20 feet or so foul, but if it would stayed in, that could have been three around the bases for the Lumberjacks. We did mention it right before the pitching change was made. Cheney Dodge came in to pinch run for the Lumberjacks at first base. Now there's speed on all three bags for the Lumberjacks as Burgos swinging behind that one. The count now two apiece, two balls, two strikes, and two outs. The 2-2 two -two pitch swung on and hit towards right field. The privateers look to get underneath it, and they do. Ramirez able to get out of the jam as the Lumberjacks strand three. They do bring two across the plate as they regain their lead here in the bottom of the seventh. We'll be back with two more innings of baseball here in Nacogdoches after this. Welcome back to the top of the eighth inning. The Lumberjacks have made quite a few moves here as Clayton LaRanger moves to the outfield. Chandler Paul comes into pitch. Jordan Monesey takes up first base. And Grant Walters moves out into left field as the Privateers have Pierce Howard at the plate. His first look at Paul is a strike.
Howard quickly down an 0-2 hole as Paul delivers the 0-2 pitch. That one chopped back foul. Howard trying to stay alive here as the privateers need at least two to tie with the Lumberjacks here in the eighth inning. The 0-2 pitch from Paul. Swung on him, foul back again. We are just about at the tip-off of the Lady Jack basketball team NCAA tournament appearance. In moments, they will take on Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech, the five seed. The Lady Jacks, the 12 seed. As that one's shot back towards Paul, Burgos gets behind it. He'll send it over to Monesey, who makes the tag. What a great play by Monesey at first. Howard not able to outrun that one. Burgos sends that a little high to the lone jack first baseman, who just entered the game. Monesey with a spectacular play to make sure runner's not on base here for the Privateers here early in the eighth inning. Salo eyes it at the plate. Sends that one towards left field. As that one's collected by the Lumberjacks for the second out of the inning. The Lumberjacks quickly have two outs on the board here. KC Simonich to the plate. Chandler Paul. Ready to see his third privateer batter of the afternoon. The 1 0 pitch out of the zone for ball two. As that one's chopped towards third, Burgos able to get behind it. Sends that one to the bag as well. And Monesey able to get his foot back on the bag. As the privateer is not happy about the call. Coach is quickly out of the dugout to make the call, but a good job by Monesey on two of those three outs to make sure he gets back to the bag or get the tag. As the Lumberjacks will be up to bat here in the bottom of the eighth after this.
Back here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Sean Moore coming to the plate for the Lumberjacks to lead off here. As the Privateers have brought a new pitch to the mound as well. Number 25, Colin Cullivan coming to the mound. The junior out of New Orleans started his career at Delgado Community College. We'll see the Lumberjack third baseman for the first time this afternoon. That one swung and hit well down the left field line. That one will land on the warning track as Moore will open up this inning with a stand-up double. And the Lumberjacks with an opportunity to add more runs on the board with a runner in scoring position here in the eighth as Kyle Cullen comes to the plate. Cullen out of the plate for the Lumberjacks. Shows bunt and lays one down towards the third baseline. Way able to get there, and Cullen able to move more another 90 feet. A productive bunt laid down by the Lumberjacks center fielder. As Cam Crawford coming to the plate now. Crawford has doubled, reached on an error, and walked in his last three plate appearances today. He has a teammate standing on third base. As Moore, usually defending the bag, is now leading off of it, trying to head home. That one out of the zone for ball one. The 1-0 pitch. Low and out of the zone for ball two. 